Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play the main theme from The Last of Us soundtrack. And we're, there's some really cool licks through this, there's some really cool chords through this, and there's some really cool ways that you could actually kind of fingerstyle a solo arrangement of this and kind of put it all together. So we're going to kind of walk through the, the melody part to a section, walk through the chords as kind of a strum thing through a section, and then we'll talk about how you can kind of put those ideas together to kind of make a, a full fingerstyle solo arrangement. So this is kind of an exploration of how you take a melody, put it with chords, and then work it as a fingerstyle kind of idea. So there are, there are a lot of applications of this, or at least I hope, I hope you find a lot of applications for this. So at the very beginning, we, we start out with an E minor in our intro section. So the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord. Now around that E minor chord, there's this melody, but it's pretty much one note kind of on our intro, where we're just doing a lot of a G note on the high E string. So we're kind of playing third fret on the high E string, which is kind of a G around the E minor. And if you wanted to, while you're doing the E minor chord, you could even take your pinky or your third finger and kind of add that to the E minor. And the way that the rhythm kind of feels through it is, is you're kind of feeling four downs on each chord. So we've got kind of E minor, one, two, three, four, one, two, of that. Now one of my favorite strum patterns, if you wanted to kind of strum through that for 404, is down, down, up, up, down, up. And we'll talk about another one in a minute because this, this is kind of a compound 12-8 kind of thing, but you could feel it in 4, and if you did, like one of my favorite strum patterns for a 404 is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, you've also got kind of a bass kind of on the low E string. So if you wanted to, you could kind of throw in a bass and then do your down, up, up, down, up, do that part, low E bass, down, up, up, down, up, low E bass, down, up, up, down, up, low E bass, down, up, up, down, up. Well, the way it kind of feels in the recording though is you've got kind of four beats of, of triplets. So, so you're kind of feeling it in three. So it's almost like one, two, three, 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 that with down ups like I was just doing kind of trying to feel triplets that down up 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 now something else you can do to kind of get that triplet feel is to work it as a finger style and on this part actually like your thumb normally with finger style will become your bass player and kind of play your low E string as kind of the bass, at least on this chord. And then your other fingers, the index finger's job is to play the G string, middle finger's job is to play the B string, ring finger's job is to play the high E string. It's kind of a freestyle uh, or free stroke classical guitar kind of idea. So I've got thumb on the low E, index, middle ring kind of placed on the G, B, and E. And what I would suggest doing actually kind of for that triplet feel is doing a thumb and, in, a thumb and ring together and then middle index, and then ring middle index, ring middle index, and then ring middle index. <laughs> so if you wanted to kind of eventually turn it into kind of a, just kind of a finger style thing, that could be a very cool thing to kind of try as doing that arpeggio. If you like the basses, you could throw in more basses, obviously, and you could do kind of PA, and, and this is weird. Finger style guitar players, normally we go back to guitar methods written in the 1700s by Spanish guitar players, so we use Spanish abbreviations normally if you're doing classical guitar. So, so the thumb in Spanish is pulgar, endeso, medio, angular, and then chica, so it's pi max. So P for the thumb, index, middle, that almost makes sense, I and M. And then the ring finger is, is your, your A finger. Pinky would be C if you were doing uh, the, the, the pinky. So you're kind of thinking thumb, ring, P and A, and then M, I, middle index. So K, M, I, A, M, I, P, A, M, I, A, M, I, that kind of thing. If you wanted to throw in more kind of basses, you could just keep that P, A, M, I idea going through you know, the entire tune. If that's a little weird, actually, to kind of feel the measures, it might work better kind of doing P, A, M, I, A, M, I, A, M, I, A, M, I, to kind of feel that one, two, Now randomly, <laughs> because of the strings we're using, we don't even really have to hold down the E minor, so you could even just kind of play the high E string on the third, and work that as kind of an open thing. Now his voicing is a little bit different though, 
and there are a lot of different places that we can play the E minor on the guitar on the top three strings. So randomly, if you kind of dig in on, on adding in some other chords in different places, um, the E minor chord actually you could play with the first finger on the high E on the third fret, second finger on the G string on the fourth fret, and third finger on the B string on, on the fifth fret. And that looks like a little D minor if you're familiar with that shape, but that, that's still playing E's and G's and B's, which are the three notes that make your E minor chord. The next E minor up the neck, actually, and we'll use this in just a moment, is going 7th fret on the high E, 8th fret on the B, and then 9th fret on the G string is also a little E minor. And randomly, just to be all inclusive, if you went all the way to the 12th fret and did a mini bar over the top of three strings, that would be another way you could kind of do the, the E minor 12, 12, 12. So th those voicings for the E minor, might even be something if you were working off, off of your own version and you just were like, oh, it's a E minor chord, I'll just do whatever. You may even kind of experiment with kind of moving between those shapes. So it's just kind of an idea. And what can sound really like the recording actually is to kind of take that second one where you got the three, four, five, and kind of work that for those eight measures with the finger style. It sounds very much like a recording. So that's another possibility there too. But what would be easier is to kind of just hold down that third fret on the high E. So that's kind of our intro section, it's kind of working around the E minor. And then from there we go into to what I'm calling the minor theme, or the, or the primary theme. And, and, and we're starting on E minor for that, and we end up doing that for quite a while, actually. It's kind of our main theme around the E minor. And actually, oh yeah, yeah, because we're on the next part, this is the second thing. Um, but our melody actually changes through this section. So through the second part, we're going three, oh, five, two, three, 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 oh, five, two, and then going to five and doing a slide from five to seven, 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 and then we go back to three and do kind of a hammer on pull off to fifth fret. So we got three, five, three, open, five, two, three, 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 three. Six, five, three, five, three is kind of the hammer on pull off idea. And then open, and then open, 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 open. And then open, open, open. And then at the very end, we kind of do seventh fret on the high E to third fret on the high E as kind of a pull off, and then do a pull off the opening. So it's kind of a double pull off idea. So you got kind of open, 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 sembrio to kind of lead us into our, our second theme. So around that actually is all E minor. So if you wanted to, you could kind of work that on, on just that high E string, just that three, oh, five, two, three, 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 oh, five, two, five, seven, 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 three, five, three, oh, five, two, lead into our next section. And your strumming actually would be the same through that if you were strumming and still be the E minor chord. Then when we get to our second theme though, now we're going from an E minor chord to an A minor chord. And when we play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. So through this secondary theme, now we're going kind of from E minor and then A minor, A minor, E minor, E minor, A minor, A minor, E minor. So if we're doing that kind of with just our downs, we'd have the E minor, two, three, four, A minor, one, two, three, four, A minor, one, two, three, four, E minor, one. into a transition um, from there. Now if we're doing our down, down, up, up, down, up, then you have E minor with a down, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, E 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 minor, down, 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 up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or if you were doing your basses, the weird thing is the A minor gets an A string for the bass. So if we were doing the bass down, up, up, down, you get an E minor with the bass. Down, up, up, down, 
that minor thing, or with an A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with Louis bass down, up, up, down, A minor with Louis bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with Louis bass down, up, up, down, up. Or you could kind of try and feel that in the threes, kind of the E minor with one, two, let's see how. Yeah, triple. So we were trying to fill it in the threes, and we have the E minor with one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, A minor, A minor, E minor, A 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 minor, Now for the finger style, actually, you could even just take that pattern and kind of work it around the two chords. You have the E minor, A minor with an A bass for your thumb, A minor with an A bass for your thumb, E minor with low E bass for your thumb, E minor with low E bass for the thumb, A minor with an A bass, A minor, E minor with low E bass. And through that part, there's a really cool melody, actually. And we're kind of going ten, 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 na, 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 eight, 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 seven, 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 and then seven, three, oh. And then we're kind of back to that ten, 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 ten na, 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 eight, 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 seven, 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 three, oh. It's kind of a double pull off on that, that seven, three, oh. So one way you could kind of do that is kind of work it as a finger style with that melody and when you hit change chords from the E minor to the A minor just change your bass note. So you could have the E minor with the low E bass and then the, the 9 would be with the A string for your bass and then the A would be with the A bass and then the 7 would be with, with the low E bass. So 10 with low E bass, 9 with an A bass, 8 with an A bass, E minor with low Seven with a high or a low E bass. That would be another way you could kind of finger style through it. Now, something else I would think about using is smaller E minors and smaller A minors. And we were talking about kind of that seven, eight, nine E minor a moment ago. You could take those same shapes and move them around for A minor. So little A minor shapes, actually, just to go over these really quick, you'd have fifth fret on the high E, the B string, and the G string together, kind of makes an A and a C and an E note, which is kind of like what we're playing when we're doing root position A minor. So you could use the, the, the top three strings on the fifth fret as kind of a little A minor, and then this is the D minor shape, this would be fun. You would do first finger on the high E on the eighth fret, second finger on the G string on the nine, and tenth fret on the B string on the 10, and that makes a little A minor chord. And it's very, very close to that 7, 8, 9 that we were doing. And then randomly, just to be all inclusive, um, you could go 12th fret on the high E, 13 on the B, 14 on the G string, kind of for your A minor. And you may want to experiment with those too, kind of working the finger style, especially if you're just kind of, kind of digging on that. You could have the E minor in different places as you're doing that finger style part. And then when you get to the A minor, you could try switching to different A minor chords which can be kind of cool to kind of work your finger style around that. Um, but to kind of work it around the melody, you could have that 7, 8, 9, um, kind of that E minor shape we started with, and kind of add in the 10th fret on, on the high E for that the E minor part. And then when you get to the 9, you could just slide your pinky down and kind of go to the open A. So kind of adding in that, that, that little piece of, of kind of the E minor chord to the, the, um, the 10 and the 9, actually. And then when you go to the A, you could stay on the A string for the bass there and kind of add in the A minor, A minor shape, and then go to the E minor shape that we had at that 7, 8, 9. So all together, I'm kind of going 10, 8, 9 on the top three strings, kind of with a low E bass. And then just going down to ninth fret on the high E string, kind of holding on to that shape. But going now with an A bass, because it's really an A minor chord going on there. And then you got the A minor shape for the A. And then we get to the 7, then you're on the 7, 8, 9 with a low E string. It might be kind of cool to kind of work it as kind of a finger style thing that way and I think that sounds really close to the recording I think it sounds great through that and then from there we go into a transition part that's kind of on our A minor it starts on our A minor and so we go from A minor but then we go to an A major chord for just a moment if you listen in the, in the, in the background and the way we play A major is you take first finger and put them on the D string second fret second finger on the G string on the second fret and third finger on the B string on the second fret you strum all those together, then that sounds like A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from that A major chord, we go right back to the A minor. 
And then we do another A minor, another A minor, and then an E minor, and then an E minor, and then kind of a big hit on an E minor right before we kind of go back into our first theme return. So right on this transition, we, we got, if we were doing that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have A minor with down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down. A big hit on the E minor at the end. So, so you may, that's if you were strumming through it that way. If you're doing your basses, your bass for the A major is the A string. So then you'd have A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A major with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, A minor with a down, kill it. As kind of the chords through that part, or if you're feeling the triplets, you got A minor, one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three, A, one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three, A minor, one two three, one two three, one two three, A minor, two three, one 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 two
that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And from the C major chord, then we're going to be going to a G major chord. And when you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret. And third finger on the high E on the third fret. And if you kind of strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G, then we're going to go back to the C major chord. And then we do another C. And then we go back to G major. And then we do another G major. But then we go to a B minor chord. And the way you play B minor, first finger is going to go across the entire second fret. Second finger on the B string, third, third finger on the D string on the, on the fourth fret, pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds B minor. And a lot of times with bar chords, actually what you could do to kind of make it a little bit easier is to take the skinny strings and make smaller versions of this chord. So a smaller B minor chord would kind of be taking first finger and going high E on the second fret, second finger on the B string on the third, third finger on the G string on the fourth. And if you strum the top three of the top four strings, that's another way you can play B minor. <laughs> another way you could play B minor if you're is you could keep first finger on the high E second, second finger on the D B string third, third finger on the D string on the four, and the pinky on the G string on the four. That's a little bit thicker B minor. Now for this song, actually, what, what's going to really work out really well for the B minor actually is an E root bar instead of an A root bar. And what I mean by that is the B minor has an A bass, so the B note is on the A string. But if you take your first finger and bar on seventh fret, and then go third finger on the A string on the ninth fret, pinky on the D string on the ninth, that's another way to play the B minor, and that's actually going to work out better to kind of work around that B minor when we get to our melody part and going for the solo thing. And then from the B minor, we're going to be going back to the C major chord, and then we do another C, and then we go back to B minor, and another B minor, and then another C, and another C, and then a G major, and another G major, and then kind of another big G. Kind of a down push. So we tried our strumming through that part. You have C with the down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down. notes, the weird thing is the C major would have the A string for your bass, the G would have a low E string for your bass, and like we talked about the B minor that we were doing second fret bar would have an A bass, although the seventh fret on the low E string, the B minor would have a low E string for your bass. So we tried the bass down, up, up, down, up, through it just to kind of get used to that form. We'd have C with an A bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up. Up down C with an A bass down up. Up down G with low E bass down up. Up down G with low E bass down up. Up down B minor with an A bass down up. Up down B minor with an A bass down up. Up down C with an A bass down up. Up down C with an A bass down up. Up down B minor with an A bass down up. Up down B minor with an A bass down up. Up down C with an A bass down up. Up down C with an A bass down up. Up down G with low E bass down up. Up down G with low E bass down up. Up, down, big G push. Or if you were feeling the triplets, you could kind of try that too. That C, the C, down, up, down, down. C, C, G. C, C, G. B minor. work it that way too, or if you're doing your finger style through it, then you'd have the C, C, G, G, C, C, G, G, B minor, B minor, C,
So the melody through that part though, you kind of have the seven and then oh three seven. And on those, you may want to think about it as two tens. <laughs> and then seven, oh, three, ten, ten, seven, oh, oh, three, ten, ten, seven, two, ten, ten, seven, two, ten, ten, seven, three, 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 seven, three. Now, if you wanted to, you could kind of get some bass notes in around those notes on the high E string. And this is a bit of a stretch, and you may want to try and raise the head up a little bit to kind of get the stretch going on. But a lot of the, the seventh fret notes you could add in the third fret on the low E string, like while you're doing the seventh fret on the high E string. And then the same thing kind of applies for your C bass that's on the A string on the third fret. So for those two chords, actually, you may want to kind of work kind of like, like this big stretch idea, actually, with the first finger to the pinky for the seven. The B minor is the weirdest one. And actually, like while you're on the B minor, what you may want to do if you're trying to work this, the melody in with the chords is kind of work the B minor bar for, for, uh, with kind of that melody for, for, the, for the high E string. And then if you shift your fingers down kind of the B, G, D, you can kind of get that F sharp note that we're doing second high E when we were doing it earlier. And then you can kind of get your pinky to add in that 10th fret note. And I know that's a little bit tricky, but you may want to kind of work around that, around that bar for your melody note. So if we tried that, we like kind of with the chord, you have the C note on the A string, you kind of start with the 7, oh, 3, 7, have the, the G note for the seven. Three, seven, 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 three, seven, seven. And then we're back to the C note for the seven. Oh, three, seven, 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 oh, three, seven, seven. And back to the G note for the seven. Three, seven, seven, three, seven, three, seven, three. And then the B minor part, you can do the bar for that, that high E seven, B string seven, and then high E ten. Back to the C note for the for the seven oh three, and then when you get to that ten on, on that, you could just let let it go. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. So then you got the three with the seven oh three ten ten, and then we got the B minor again. We got the B minor B string high ten ten, it's a high e seven seven on the B high ten ten, and then we're about at the C with the seven three seven three C with the seven three seven. Kind of push, and then right after that, then we kind of go into our first theme return again, and we're kind of back on E minor chord, and then we have another E minor, and another E minor, and another E minor, and actually we stay on that E minor until we get to our outro. So if we were doing our E minor, and just to review for a second, you could do that with the down, down, up, up, down, up on each of those chords, or you could do the bass down, up, up, down, up. So kind of around the E minor, or you could do the triplet. We got the triplet, 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 kind of free. But our, our melody is kind of returning back to that that th three oh five two three 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 oh five two five seven slide seven 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 three oh five two three 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 six five three five like oh 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 six five three five three oh 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 six five three five three then we go into our outro part, and our outro melody actually is working B string on the third, kind of that D note, kind of in the in the bass or in the in the melody part. And our bass note actually is an F note. And actually, what we would do for our chord on the outro actually is an F major chord. And the way you play F major is you normally you do your first finger is kind of a full bar on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third, pinky on the D string on the third. If you strum all those together, that sounds F major. 
Now, if you're just starting out, you just want to avoid the bar chords there, a good substitute for that chord can be F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum the top four strings with that, that sounds F major 7, and it sounds really, really groovy, happy. And on that F major, actually, we end up doing kind of two measures of that F and then kind of a down on F. Um, and then we end up back on our E minor kind of at the very, very last couple measures. So we, we got kind of F with a down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, F with a down. And then E minor with a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, minor with a down. It's kind of our outro. Now the bass note around that F major though, if you're doing the full bar, would be on the low E string. And actually, with, with the finger style, actually, this works out really well, too. You could have, have the F with kind of your arpeggio if you wanted to, and kind of that big F, and then E minor, E minor, E minor. And that's almost kind of what we would do for the solo arrangement. I what I would do is kind of take third finger on the, on the or pinky on the B string third with the low E string on the first fret to kind of get that F bass in there. And you could just kind of like play that with the open G and D measures and then end on the F, um, which could be very cool, or even just keeping it as a two-part might be kind of a cool thing to do. And then on the E minor, you back to the beat, the, back to just the regular arpeggio, and then kind of your big E minor at the end. So that's the basics of how you could strum through or, or, or play through or finger style through uh, the, the main theme from The Last of Us soundtrack. So good luck!